and welcome along everybody how are we doing i hope you're all doing well on this fine fine sunday evening i have lost all track of time i am unsure what day it is um but yes it is it is sunday evening and uh we are here for the realism experiment live on twitch so um i hope you have all had a good week uh good weekend uh richard Dower, welcome along milk tanky j welcome along cult 1983 welcome along uh Haskell Lee, welcome along and thank you for me subscribing at tier one you are awesome uh rob simo welcome along you're eating jelly babies jelly babies are very nice and i like jelly babies a lot uh, i have no problem with saying that uh one uh well a couple of announcements uh to cover tonight um uh, as i've been saying for the last few streams and uh, next weekend um i will be taking a week off so no stream uh next saturday over on youtube or next sunday there also won't be a stream on tuesday or uh friday that week either so uh there will be a stream on tuesday and there will be a stream on friday this week um but after that i'm having a week off um and then the next stream will be a week on sunday after that so uh yeah so two weeks today will be when i'm back from my holiday um uh the multiplayer server is not back up yet i'm hoping to get that up back up tomorrow um, I've been approaching people to act as farm managers and uh, and an admin on there so that uh, you guys can still play on it while I'm away. Um, I think they have all accepted. Um, so I will get that set up tomorrow and I will get that all done um, so that we are we are good to go and uh, and that the, the multiplayer server doesn't have to be down uh for any longer than it, than it has to be a uh, new multiplayer series will start over on youtube on the 4th of february we'll be choosing a new map and uh and we will be um uh, and we'll be starting up new farms on there and hopefully we won't get the same kind of corruption on the map as uh, unfortunately we had on greenlands that's that's um, uh, it caused us to abandon that uh, uh abandon that series unfortunately uh richard dower redeeming breakdown clean me and what's for supper i have nothing to clean other than my face which probably needs a shave and i'm not doing that on stream um, also i have broken down it is true if you have some way to repair me i would be very very grateful but i am so knackered um and what was for supper for supper this evening i did a uh, chicken breast in a creamy leek sauce with uh new potatoes and cauliflower cheese it was very nice i enjoyed it very much so yes to answer your questions all right shall we crack on with some farming uh i have so yeah so i want to make sure we've got videos for the whole time i'm away i now have five days to create nine videos uh and it's crazy so uh yeah it's it's a bit mad at the moment uh it is 6 a.m it is september i think we have harvested all the crops in our fields uh oh no we haven't we have got a little bit of crop left to harvest in our field so we're going to go and start with that today uh yes in fact we've got to get that finished today uh full realism hello steam fan welcome along five minutes in cab only oh god oh god in this darkness uh so yeah we've got uh we've got our own stuff to finish we also have the contract uh up on field one to finish uh i think we will end up doing the bailing of our field in october um but i want to get my fields ready uh for planting we want to be planting next month as well so uh, lots to do um it is still quite dark though so um sun has only just risen we are therefore going to go and see if the milk needs selling first hey railman 50 welcome along back it up oh oh I, so i've recorded i've recorded up to friday this week 
because I'm needing to get ahead of myself because I'm going away. Uh, we do not have enough milk yet. Um, do we have any rain coming today? What is the forecast? Um, and something's happened on Attingham that has just left me going, oh my lord, I, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Uh, we will be doing the milk, uh, milk tank, Jay, but we only have uh, five uh, five thousand liters, so we need another thousand liters. Uh, we have left in here. Oh, I know what we were doing. Yes, I know what we can do while we wait for the sunrise. We need to finish bagging up the rest of the wheat, don't we? And we need to get the oats out of there. So, do we have any wheat left in here? Yes, we do. We got 20,000 liters of it. Wow. So this needs bagging. Uh, that needs bagging up for feed. And we need to get the oats out because the oats are not something we need to do. Uh, yeah, we should be doing it by the end of tonight. Uh, tonight's stream, I would have thought. Right. Let's grab these bags of oats and get them out because they are completely unnecessary for the farm these days and we can just go and sell them oh there we go we'll just plonk them over here for now happy sunday lenny Okay, and yeah, that's oats as well. Two thousand liter bags of oats. This is this is what we had at horse speed. So these have been kicking around for a while. Lewis, thank you for resubscribing at uh, tier one for your sixteenth month. You are awesome. So we'll uh, we'll load this up into a trailer at some point and uh, and get rid of it. Uh, probably when the uh, price rises a bit. Last one. Twenty thousand that we still have in the store is going to be another ten bags. Wow, that is a lot of wheat that we have. That is a lot of wheat that we have. Right, so, as we were doing last time, let's go and uh, collect this up and do this. So does this have anything in it? I think this bag spawned, yeah, with nothing in it. So what I'm gonna do is try and empty it uh, actually, I'm going to try and empty it into the brain store. It should get rid of it. It is just completely empty, though. I don't think it's got anything of use in it at all. Yeah, it's just a, a rogue bag that we can't do anything with. So, uh, uh, yeah, this is what happens when a mod uh, fouls up. We end up with a little bit of... Uh, rubbish kicking about oh i was supposed to be in cab right i'll do that again five more minutes in cab because i didn't do it legal took over production cast cargo's trailer oh really right so is this Uh, e. Nope, we are pallet creating. Good. Hey, NHS, welcome along. No, no, two thousand liters. So this is a uh, this is a big bag in here. 
And we'll fill this up with wheat. Yeah, our big bags of animal feeds. Hey, Fisher J, welcome along. And thank you for resubscribing at tier three for your 34th month. You are awesome. There we go. Maybe I should have turned pallet creation off. Let's turn it off. <laughs> because that, I'm not sure that bag is doing what it should. Okay, no, no. Into that one, please. Right, let's try this again. Right. Hey, roll for 20 tides. Welcome along. Yeah, fill this up and then we'll get the uh, pallet creation going. Let's get the pallet creation going now. I don't know how much is in that one at the bottom there. Does it have any? It does. It has 288 liters in it, but that's no use. So this needs to go back into here. Will it do it? No. Oh, no, it might do. I think it was doing it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, good guy, 17. Thank you for the five bit cheer. You are awesome. Well, class trailers can be branded Flegel. Okay. That's quite cool. Right. Right, this out. We want to fill it up before we empty it because um, we want it to uh, not to do what it just did, basically. Whoa! That's a bit heavy. ACB is not happy. Oh, there we go. We're good now. Get the center of uh, mass in a better position. And it'll work fine. Lenny, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Liam Huswick. You are awesome. Right, now we can turn bag creation back on. There we go. And then it gives us big bags. That we can then pull out like that. And go and put into our shed to feed our uh, pigs. Uh, any good mods come out? Uh, not that I'd noticed. Well, it's it's yeah. There's not often that stuff comes out the weekend. Um, it has been happening more often, but um, yeah, nothing nothing that I've seen. And in. Yeah, we've got five more rows to fit in here of this feed. I think I might try and remove those um, seeds from the end and we'll put it all down this end of here. Mr. J, thank you for the 500 bit cheer. You are awesome. Wow, nothing is setting off this hype train. <laughs> it's really weird. Hype train's been, it's close for a while. And uh, nothing's setting it off. That's really weird. Hey, Black Mirror, welcome along. Rob Simo, thank you for the 200 bit cheer. You are awesome. And there it goes. Hype train kicks off. And now, now, if we hit the level three, there will be a giveaway. Fisher J gifting five tier one subs to the channel. You are awesome. 
uh welcome to the subscribers technic tom nhs one two three four four five six five six uh ricard cotton t moscato and big guy grandpa uh, if you've received a gifted sub from the Fisher J, please give him a thank you in the chat because he is awesome. And level three is complete. I will be giving away, I will be uh, doing a giveaway when this hype train completes. Uh, how many games I give away depends on what level we reach. So uh, I am going to give away one, at least one game because we're at level three. I will give away two if we hit level six, uh, three if we hit level nine. Basically, every three levels, I will add another game to the giveaway. There we are. Hey. This is coming out here quite nicely. Good day, Rob Plays Game 69. Welcome along. Guys, spend this particular way with the other FS rates you've played. Oh, my, my pleasure for providing said platform for doing so. Uh, Napman, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFN. You show off too. Thank you for the 100 bit cheer. You are awesome. Oh, come on. That's it. In. And drop. Yeah. It's a tight space, this one. But uh, it's, uh, it's a useful storage shed. Cat Cracker 6, thank you for the 108 bit cheer. You are awesome. There we are. Uh, any more to come out? No, that's it. So we need to turn off the. Uh, we need to turn off the function and refill it. Um, but it basically does, yeah, I think it does 10,000 liters. No, it can't do 10,000 liters a time. It, it, I think it does 8,000 liters a time. Yeah, it does 8,000 liters a time. Napman, welcome along. Martin, thank you for subscribing at tier one for your uh, 39th month. You are awesome. Oh, about to the, beat the last record. I am using Toby. You should be seeing it. Yes, uh, I have got it working again. I got it working before the stream tonight. So uh, you should be seeing the eye tracker tonight. It is appearing on my screen. Uh, did I see uh, about the was that about the trees and your uh, and your video cat cracker? I did. Unfortunately, this week is very very busy. Hard to get the Toby working on FS. No, really easy. I actually have it turned off on FS. Um, I find I can't turn my head round far enough. Unfortunately, um, I do use it very much on ETS. Uh, I love the eye tracker on ETS. Um, I uh, There's a couple of other bits, places I've used it as well. It is absolutely awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I will at some point sit down with it for uh, a while and get it to work how I want it to work in FS. Uh, my trouble is if I'm doing first person FS, I really want to turn my head right round. So if I'm sitting in here, the eye tracker will move my head like that. My, uh, but I want to be able to spin my head back, look at where I'm carting and spin forward and back. And it's not the easiest thing to do it with it. So uh, 88 bit cheer from uh, Taz. Thank you very much. You are awesome. 22 seconds. We are 91% of the way through. Uh, level four, three, four. With uh, the way, we're nearly there at level four. We've hit level three. So, 
hitting level three, we need to do a giveaway. Right, you have two minutes to uh where are we? Uh, 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 two minutes to enter the giveaway. Countdown is beginning. There we are. That one. And uh yeah, and then I will give away a game on PC because we hit level three. Is it just me or is everything? I think I turned down the volume on my headset without realizing. Oh, this, this wants to go up top. What is that a bag of? Is that oats? No, that's wheat. Why do I have a weird bag of wheat there? We need, that needs to go back in as well. Daddy needs a DLC. <laughs> yes, there is the possibility of getting a DLC. Most popular one, of course, is Pops and Oses. Yeah, so as I was saying, I am recorded up to Friday. I am going to try, depending on what time we finish tonight, uh, I am going to try and record uh, Saturday's video after tonight's stream. Uh, tomorrow's video is edited and uploaded, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, and, oh, I do need to sort out the um, premieres for the next two weeks for the streams on here as well so uh two bags add a bucket grab two bags yeah that's what i'm thinking if it takes eight thousand we can take three bags out and then refill it i think is the way to go so uh into here turn it off put uh the remaining 17 uh, 1,712 litres into that. And this is why it's worth having a front loader and a telehandler on the farm. So next uh, our Realism Experiment livestream will be Tuesday. Giveaway time! Yeah, next Realism stream will be Tuesday. Uh, there will be two live streams this week, Tuesday and Friday. From the after skiing. I don't know if there'll be anything live while I'm skiing. I did order my new helmet and goggles today, though. Lenny213, congratulations, you have been selected. All you gotta do is let me know. You are in the chat in the next 90 seconds. And I will draw, I will spin the wheel and we will see what game you get. Uh, I'm gonna snooze the ad for five minutes. <laughs> Cause uh, yeah, we're doing a giveaway. Are you there, Lenny? There you are. Right. Let's see what we are going to give you then. There it is. And spin it. Is it going to be the golden slice? What's it going to be? Oh, it is Red Solstice 2 Survivors. So I will send you over the code for that. Um, uh, as always, I have lots of codes to send over people. So if you haven't received your code yet, don't worry. I have not forgotten you. I will get it over to you. Uh, right. Evans Remains is the game that is going on the wheel in 
uh, Red Solstice Place. Uh, there we go. And uh, congratulations to you uh, for the win, Lenny. Hello, Indigenous Navi. Welcome along. How are we doing? Right, we need more wheat. More meat. Blah, more wheat, Vicar. Later, good guy17. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the stream or what you saw of the stream. Right, so what I'm going to do is put this in. And once this has gone in here, yeah, like that, we'll start this up again so that it can um, start doing stuff. So there we go. And then we'll go and get another bucket full. And I can leave the bucket, I can leave this to the side, just emptying into it. So as it empties, it refills. That's probably the best way to go. Certainly the quickest way to go. Only 8,000 litres left. So uh, there's a full one of those left in here. Actually, I know what I can do. So I can come at this from this side with the bucket. Stand this up a little bit. And down. Like so. And that way, it'll keep filling up and we can take more bags out of it. <coughs> How do you use these bags again? Um, so these I'm going to be using to feed the chickens. This is all chicken feed I'm doing at the moment. So I'll be able to just pop in here, grab a big bag and feed the chickens with it. Ooh. Providing we can get these in here in the first place. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got caught on the roof. I'm going to move this because this one is going to get in my way. I'm going to move this one and put that in the corner. It would make sense to uh, do the rear ones first. Right, and then we can push those back with this. There we go. So now it'll be easier for me to get three more bags in that. Guys working felt bad mentioning it last stream. Had to go for. Yeah, so basically I had to move it as far away from any um, triggers as I could. So it, the trigger for here was interfering with it, which was mad. Right, I need to go and fill up with the last 3,000 litres. Later, cat cracker. Right, yeah, last 3,087 litres. So we'll probably end up with a small bag out of this. 
but at least then this job is done and we've made sure that we don't have uh four crops in a silo where we're only meant to have three because that's bad right and that's filling that up nope not into that i want to be in this That is really good. Such a great system, this. If you can get it to work, which thankfully I have. <laughs> and this means that all we have to do to feed the chickens is uh, just grab one of these bags and take it around. Uh, the beauty is that we only uh it will be like two days worth of rations for the chickens so the number of bags we've got here is perfect uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Oh, I've still got the giveaway time on. A bad fan! Thank you for the raid! Welcome, 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 raiders! Uh, Fab for Jethro! Uh, 97, welcome along. A Fab for Gaming Mama 97, welcome along. Um, I hope you have had a good stream. There we go, and pull, and back. Yeah, there we go, it's emptying again. Hello, Fab for Death Throw. Good, good, I am glad you've had a good stream. Thank you for the raid. Fab for Gaming Mama 97 thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. And in and round. There we go. Uh, stream is going well, thank you. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm getting somewhere with the job I'm trying to do. Although I do keep catching myself on this doorway. But yeah, we are we are currently making chicken feed uh, while we wait for the Jew to um, the Jew to pass. Uh, we should be getting back into our canola about nine o'clock, which will be good. And then uh, we've got a whole load of potatoes to sort after that. We've got a massive potato contract that needs finishing. But I need to get all of these bags out first. Bags everywhere. Yeah, one last one, two slot in here. Okay. Is that as far back as that will go? I think so. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Yeah, that is a lot of chicken feed. I'm very happy with that. That's about two years worth of chicken feed, uh, which is awesome. We will not run out next year. <laughs> we will not run out in the next year, which is great. Because we've just got so much of it.
Got to make sure I can still get in here with this tractor is the only thing. And how many more bags we've got? How many more bags have we got? It's a really good question. Is this the last of it? Uh, almost. Can't be much more in that. Anymore? Yep, there is. Amazingly. Oh, not much though. Yeah, it's a really small bag. I think what we'll do is we'll go straight round to the chickens with that last bag and just top them up with that. Uh, and then when they run out again, then we can start using the 2,000 litre bags. Uh, but yeah, that last bag there, that's a pretty small one. So these into here, like so. Yep, and that's got it. Right, so that's all the chicken feed done, and it's coming up to 9 a.m. So that's good as well. Means that we can crack on with the um, with the harvest, with the canola harvest. Just need to get our other tractor. Yeah, 800 litres. So this will be a good amount to give to our chickens right now. I'm going to go and take it round to them and uh, we can get them fed and keep them producing eggs. I think we may have a pallet of eggs to sell today as well, actually. Oh, it's going to be a busy day then. Really busy day. Cows are looking good for feed. Oh, wow. We got two pallets of eggs to sell today. So, yeah, we need to get some... Uh, we need to get a load of eggs sold. What's it got? An egg? Uh, an egg? A chicken outside of its pen. See, this is, this is why these bags are great. Because we just fill up the chicken feed really easily with them. Grab a bag and bring it around. Right, uh, with that done, I'm going to park this back up in the shed and then we will go and probably move that uh, the bag filler off the field. Because we don't need it anymore. great thing about that bag filler is we can use that for anything so if we have lots of uh little bags of uh of fertilizer hanging around or seed or anything like that uh we can very very easily bag them up and uh and get them gone right uh in this get that off also, I think we have a. I think I had to put a load of canola on the floor, didn't I? What do we got in here now? Uh, we have just linseed and soybeans, as it should be. So we can now start putting the canola into there, and uh, and not on the floor in here anymore. 
Which is the whole idea. So we'll get that uh, we'll get that cleaned up off the floor in a bit. Right now we need to start cutting in. go uh so three lanes across one two three and in about here which i think and 270 is 260 there we are It's really interesting the difference I'm finding at the moment between what we're doing on here and how Attingham Park is going. Both are essentially start from scratch setups. Uh, and this one seems to be moving slower than Attingham is. Attingham is just moving so fast. And, uh, and I don't quite know why. And oh my god, that is such the wrong angle. Look at that. Oh, well. <laughs> Should have been 250. Because it's 180. Ah, oh, great. Let's see if we can correct that. So, I want to go in at this at 70. Yeah, look at that. That is how far off this is. But it's a whole 10 degrees off. where I should be. Oh, dear. <clears throat> right, let's correct this. Uh, evening, who is? Welcome along. I went from the wrong end of the field. And it confused me. Price of land very different, like ebony and maple. I don't think so. It's, uh, I mean, maybe. I mean, what's the price of land per? Not massively different. Um, I think there's one or two, but not many. Uh, people who make 4X maps tend not to put them on the mod tab, uh, simply because most people who put stuff on the mod tab are aiming for uh, PC and console. I mean, there are PC, don't get me wrong, there are PC only mods on the mod tab, absolutely. Um, but uh, most people who are releasing maps and going through all the rigmarole of getting it past Giants are releasing it because they want to get it on console. Doing a start from scratch on Richlands and Ohio, just doing cotton, cotton currently at minus 66k. Ouch. Yeah, Attingham's... Uh, Attingham has, has given me the biggest conundrum I've ever had on the series. Um, uh, which I can't say much because it's it happens in Thursday's video. Um, but uh, yeah, it is it is just so what do I do here? So with uh, So who's doing the oaks? Or is that a map that's actually been released? Because that's not one I've heard of. Yeah, that's fixed our problems. I think it's ready. Who's, whose map is that then? I 
It's been released. Ah, uh, the oaks. Farm Sim Briscoe has done it. Oh, hang on. That name rings a bell. Yeah, Vance and Briscoe sent me over a copy of it. His first ever map. Yeah, he sent me a copy of it over. It needs a load of extra stuff. I haven't had a look at it. It's a 4X map. I haven't had a look at it yet because I haven't had chance. Um, oh, I might have a look. My, my trouble with force, uh, uh, with, uh, my, my trouble with 4X maps is I have a hard enough time exploring a 2X map fully. Uh, a 4x map I tend to miss so much on so um yeah mm. might push back tomorrow's well if I get a chance see if I can record it tonight might push back tomorrow's video to Wednesday and maybe try and do a uh, a map first look for it tomorrow. Because I got so caught up in things, I just haven't been able to. This is not a bad yield on this field, but it's not filling the combine up very fast. There's a live stream. I, I can't. I, the amount of... So as I said, I need, I still need to create, in order to make sure there's no gaps in my videos, I've got to do nine videos in four days, in five days. So, uh, yeah. There's a, there's a lot of work I've got for this week. Uh, hey Klaus, welcome along. Which is why a, uh, a map first look might be a very good idea. How do you do grapes in uh, FS22? Are they under the construction tab? Yes, that's exactly where they are. Uh, they're under orchards in the construction tab. say something about silver run the shop is almost reading my mind on silver run at the moment it's eerie what uh, what's coming up for sale considering what i need uh, it's yeah very very odd oh 99 full we might as well uh, go and empty this i think Go. 
Which is brilliant for its first map. I uh, just set my farm on an RE on there. Okay. Oh, it's, a, it's such a pity it's a 4X and not on the mod hub. Because the trouble is, it not being on the mod hub means that I can't do it on the multiplayer. 4X maps would be fantastic multiplayer maps. But, uh, yeah, the inability to uh, to have them listed on the mod hub means they're not cross-play. One hundred and one viewers. You know what that means? It's giveaway time. Right, exclamation mark here in the chat. Once somebody enters in, which is Taz. Giveaway countdown begins in two minutes. I will give away a PC game or a farm sim DLC. I think we might get, if we're lucky, two full tanks off this. I am not holding my breath though, because this is not the highest yielding field. Uh, Nicolaj25609, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. get just to the left of center here i think it's going to be about there 250 is the angle that i want down and away we go it's giveaway time let me just get this screen uh screenshot there we go giveaway time you have been selected all you've got to do is let me know you're there in the chat Congratulations, Milk Tanker J. Right. Now we need to spin the wheel for you. And see what comes up. Ooh, spin it. Mm -hmm. 
Retro Wave is the code I will be sending over to you. Congratulations, uh, Milk Tanker J. And so I need to select a new game to put on here. Ghost Runner is the new game going on the wheel. Uh, Retro Wave, there you are. So yeah, that will be the new game that's on there. My pleasure, Milk Tanker J. Right, uh, is there a better screenshot I can get of this? Yeah, just a little bit like that. There we go. Oh. Yeah, look at this. We are we are only twenty percent full. Uh, there is not eight more rows here. That's what it would take for us to have another full tank. Actually, it's uh, we need another so um, two for we need another six rows. Sorry, I think uh, I don't think there are six rows here. One, two, three. No, I think we've got three. Strainuck. Coming in with a raid of 11. Welcome, 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 raiders. I, hey, oh, Stray in the UK, sorry. Coming in with a raid. Uh, welcome, 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 raiders. I hope you had a good uh, uh, stream, Stray in. Thank you very much. Uh, much obliged. And thank you very much for sharing your community with me. You are awesome. Uh, what was for supper, Martin? Uh, this evening I had uh, chicken breasts with uh, a creamy leek sauce, uh, some uh, cheese, um, not cheese, uh, some cauliflower cheese, uh, and a um, uh, and new potatoes. Really? Yep, it's wider than my head up. So we'll go overlap. Beat the double whopper on airport. I don't know. I, a double whopper. There's something to be said for it. Uh, have I seen you on YouTube? Epic that? Yes, you have. Yes, you have. I am very much over on YouTube. Always good when relaxed. Exactly. Unless I'm getting absolutely nervous about getting something completed in the RE, in which case it's ah. But in general, FS is nice and relaxing. Now, will this all fit in a single header? That's tight. No, that's not all fitting in a single header. We'll have to do this one the same way. If in doubt, go over two rows. That way you don't just miss a little bit. two rows left we might get to so well, we'll get to 70 percent i don't know if we'll get to 75 but we'll definitely get to 70 percent 
I'm gonna pick a whether to move my cow now or wait until they have feed and straw left and I don't know if I can keep it. Hmm. Wait, is it, as they still have feed and straw, I would let them wind down uh, uh, the feed and straw. Oh, really? And the bridges look very damp. Explains why all of that uh, land around it is silty clay. <laughs> All that flooding from the river would definitely make that all silty clay. It's it's why I've got a, a uh, why I'm in a very big pickle on uh, on Attingham at the moment. I don't know what I'm going to do. Meant to snow this week. But it's definitely going to snow for me in the next week. This time next week, I am hoping to be surrounded by snow. I'll be very disappointed if I'm not. Right, that is the last of our harvest. For this year. So we'll have some uh, cleanup to do on the combine and get that put away. Uh, what's the status of it like yet? Yeah, we probably want to do some repairs on it as well. Uh, we can't put the combine away though until we have sorted out the canola in the shed that shouldn't be there. That's going to need to be also put away. Come to Canada, you won't have votes to answer. Oh, yes, I'm going to the French Alps next Saturday. So, uh, yeah, I will have no problem being surrounded by snow uh, next weekend. Combine that. Clear the shed out. Ah, it didn't take me. Uh, we we'd already partly done the field already. Three mini storms last week up north, all near the six. Wow, that is very windy. There we go.
Wow, there's actually a fair amount of canola on this barn floor. There really is. Well, it wasn't in... Uh, no, it was more than one trailer full, wasn't it? We ended up having to put more than one trailer full on the floor here. So, uh, yeah, actually, I'm not surprised. Interested to see exactly how much we're tipping on here. Does this? Yeah, that's because the JCB needs a fix. Yeah, it needs repairing. That's why. Yeah, that's that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. We need to get that in the repair shop. What's the contract mod at the top right? Um, it is... Oh, God. I can't remember the name of it. It's definitely on the mod hub, uh, Gordon. Um, I think it's something like contract tracker or something like that. Contract hut. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I knew it was something like that. One of those mods that's very difficult for me to look up. Because obviously all the other mods, any vehicle mods and things like that, I can easily look up because um, I can just look at... Because I've got the shop, um, the extra shop info, I can, I can look all those up. But uh, anything that's a script like that, very difficult to look up. And it's one of those mods that I kind of take for granted at this point. Right, that is done. I need to go and park this up. And... Yeah, it's to the other JCB. This then can now go in the shed as well. And, oh, I've got to run all the way down here to get the traction trailer. Has anyone made a live mini-map yet that shows fertilizer stats like we had in 17? Only if you are using uh, precision farming. Cheers, ASO! got a new flavor tonight it's really nice it's a uh, peach got the peach hydrate hydrate how you doing aso Uh, 
There it goes. Up and done. So how much have we got in our silo? Uh, so we've got 38,000 litres of canola, 60,000 litres of linseed, and 17,000 litres of soybean. Perfect. Right, I need to jump in the landy and head up to uh, the other field then. Uh, how are we for milk? Yeah, we're not there yet for the milk. Let's start this, turn the headlights off. Good evening, Michael. Welcome along. And uh, yeah, go and oh, get these potatoes finished. Because uh, we have so many potatoes. And then we got so much straw to do as well. Right, they should both be up here. I'm hoping they're both up here because otherwise I don't know where the tractor and trailer is. No, where is the tractor and trailer then? Oh, wow. Ah. I've also got some other stuff to harvest. Um, That is soybeans, isn't it? No, uh, uh, yeah, soy, soybeans. Oh, sorghum. Um, when does sorghum harvest until... Oh, God, no, we've got to do that today as well. Also, I have no idea where that traction trailer is. Oh, it's right up at the top. Yeah, it's at the sell point. Um, but yeah, we've got a whole field full of sorghum to go and harvest. We need to get the combine down there. We don't harvest that today. That is going to wither. Also, I have got nowhere to store it. I'm, I'm hoping we don't get more than a trailer's worth. Because we've got canola and soybeans and linseed in our main silo. And we've got barley in our... Uh, second silo so yeah we have nowhere at the moment to store this sorghum so that's a little bit annoying ah. we'll have to leave it in the trailer maybe right I have a feeling this little trailer really isn't going to be worth it. Uh, yeah, we could we could just make it uh, chicken feed. That's not a bad shout because it is chicken feed. It does sell well, is the only thing. Oh. We'll see how much we get. I don't think we're going to get much more than a uh, single. Uh, I don't think we're even going to get a single tank off this. I think this this uh, field was probably a bad idea, to be honest.
Just bag it direct from the combine if needed. Well, we, we'll probably um, we'll probably bring the trailer back and bag it direct from the trailer. We'll uh, we'll get the the JCB back out and um, put it straight in. Uh, tip it from the trailer into the JCB and then from the JCB straight into the bagger. The reason I tend to put the combine at the head of the convoy is you it, it tends to be if the combine makes it through so does the rest of it. Oh. Spoke too soon. What did it get blocked by? I mean, there's literally nothing blocking it. Has that got... Oh, wow. How? There we go. It clipped the smallest part of the back of that. Right, can I squeeze past the combine? Because ideally, I want the header to be in position first. Combine over here. Let's see if we can get the header into a position. Used a base game class header and painted it US colors. Right. So the way I'm going to do this is just reverse this round here under this. That should give us enough for the header to get. Some re somehow the uh, the other tractor is blocked up the top as well. It must have caught the um, it must have caught the edge as well, which is weird. Right. And then you can pull forwards, no forwards, and out from under the combine. Wow. Okay. No combine needs to back off. There we go. Yeah, this is not a fun field. Right. There we go. So somebody's working on a class header pack. They bought the bagger and figured it out. Bag everything and sell the bags when it's time. Um, it takes a long time to bag everything up. I, I don't want to do that. There we go. Head down. And into the field. And I kind of got no choice but to cut the first bit like this.
And then we can back out. Oh. Yeah, this is a really fiddly field. Even for a combine that's on the smaller side like this, this is such a fiddly field. And we planted it so late. Wow, the yield on it, though, is amazing. Look at that. I'm 10% full already. That's ridiculous. Well, I will be doing headlands, but it's all headlands pretty much. And farms do have fields this small. I mean, this is, this is not an out of the ordinary thing. Um, but yeah, wow. Uh, what crops are you growing next year on the RE? Uh, something different? No. So we grow on here. Uh, we do linseed, uh, canola, and wheat. Uh, the idea is that we do uh, winter wheat uh, to get stuff out of the way in the uh, in the, the autumn, um, and then we uh, we do canola and. Uh, we normally try and get as I think we try and get the linseed planted in the autumn as well. Yeah, an, an eighty nine hundred harvester in this field would not happen. We are going to get a full tank of, uh, of sorghum up here, though. Amazingly. I didn't think the field was big enough, but it, it really is. We won't get much more than a full tank, but we will get a full tank. You know, our tractor is still stuck at the gateway. And the top end of this, I really, really, really think that we should probably now do the um uh do the field inside the trees looking at the state of the land here and the fact that it's really good land i reckon that field inside there is it's gonna be amazing 
and suddenly I am uh, I'm interested in doing that field. Of cutting through that pathway there and doing that field. Because if we're getting this kind of yield off here, the kind of yield we'll get in the other side of those trees is going to be huge. We've got a full tank. That is, that has yielded really nicely, that field. I am, I am flabbergasted. What's up? Why did you block by an object? You go in the wrong direction. A straight grass crop. Yeah, I think, I think we may have to get the plow out, make a make a field, cut our way through, and uh, and do it. Because it's, it's just going to be... So we can make a pathway through here. Take out this tree. Uh, these trees here. Yeah, and that will create a straight path through. And then there is just this... Well, I think there's actually probably two fields in here. I don't think we've got a gateway down the bottom here, have we? But we do own all this land. And I've been holding off farming it. Yeah, so uh, no no gateway down here. So I think I may have to... Uh, I think there's probably three fields worth in here. But we need to... Uh, but we'll need to cut through that. Doing winter barley, wheat, uh, canola, then sugar beet, corn, sunflowers, and sorghum. Ah, and oats. Wow. I'd like to do sugar beet, uh, sugar beet or potatoes again on here. Um, but oh, it just takes so long to do the potatoes. We'll, uh, we'll bag this up back at the farm. Twelve thirty-six already. That's concerning. I mean, October for potatoes isn't unheard of. I was definitely doing potatoes in October. Hey, DBS Richard, you missed two giveaways. We've had two giveaways tonight. Um, what on a uh, combine harvesters or harvesters in general? I've run because I've run three potato harvesters at once. Giveaway has been redeemed by Fisher J. Exclamation mark giveaway. Uh, exclamation mark here, sorry, in the chat. Taz is first in. Countdown begins. Ran nine. Uh, no. I've uh, I've definitely run two harvesters. I can't remember if I've run three. I don't tend to to do fields big enough. 
that require more than two harvesters normally. I think even when I did some big American fields, I was only running two harvesters. Just this bit to go, and then that is uh, this small field done. And I'm actually pleasantly surprised. This field has has had a really good yield to it. T is raiding with body one. Welcome, 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 raiders. Did you just hit the raid thing, T, or did you actually stream? Because you've been in here all evening. Right, there we go. So that is not a huge amount of sorghum off there, but it is a really good yield. You add that to some of our others. So 6,000 liters of sorghum. So that will uh, that will do just under three bags, I think. Oh no, that'll do three bags, just over three bags. Old combine down. Uh, my field. This is uh, what was the horse field. I planted it with crop. <laughs> Thing is, we no longer had the horses. Giveaway time. you've been selected all you gotta do let me know you're there in the chat in the next 90 seconds and we'll spin the wheel for you and give you a pc game or a farming simulator 22 dlc depending on whether you get the golden bit or not there you are right done Let's see if we can spin the wheel for you and see what you get. Oh, that one, that one, that one. There we go. Uh, spin it. Oh, oh, it's police stories. So we will get that sent over to you. The game code for that uh, via the uh, via the whispers here on Twitch. And uh, right, I need to select a new game to go onto the wheel. So police stories is going to be replaced by. Uh, Monster Sanctuary is the new game I'm going to put on that. There we go. Uh, so congratulations to Don. I think we might take the more, more direct route back to the farm. Well, that's nice and straight. Take this down onto the road here so the tractor can't get confused. Tractor forward. 
Montana Giant 4413. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. There we are. And then last one. So, yeah, six and a half thousand liters of uh, sorghum. Not bad. Uh, we, yeah, we will keep this for uh, chicken feed, I think. Probably the best way to go with it. No, nope, that one. Thank you. There we are. Right, back to the farm we go. And we'll deal with that later. Uh, I, at the moment, I just want to get this uh, back to the farm. And then we can go and find the uh, tractor and trailer that should be doing stuff with the potato harvester and uh, and sort that out it does not like the uh setup for uh over uh, for transporting from a harvester i think the problem is i've got six miles an hour set as the uh, cruise control speed on the on the john deere doesn't like it it means it, uh, it travels really slow we might have to go rescue it what i'm gonna do though is pull this onto this field here <clears throat> and we can park it all down the side here What was for supper? Uh, chicken in a creamy leek sauce with um, uh, cauliflower cheese and new potatoes. The oh no, it's going nine miles an hour. I actually let it go its full pelt. It was much better. There we go. I'd work it off. And I'm going to pull this up alongside. Yeah, like so. Right. And then take the hard worker off this. We'll put the cover on the top. Let it preserve the crop. And there. Right. That is that done. Uh, this is still running. No, not that one. Other one. Other one. There we go. And then we'll head out and go and set the rest up. Even though it's uh, probably it's past one. We'll still see if we can knock out some more of this potato contract. Because what we've got to do next time is start turning our fields around. So uh we need to we need to uh put as much slurry down as we can uh we then need to go and put uh and then we need to go and mulch uh the fields we want to pull up with linseed and we need to get the linseed and uh, and, and and meat wheat and we need to get as much of that plant as possible i think winter wheat first followed by the linseed second Right, where are you? There you are. Yep. I've still got the giveaway on the screen. Turn that off. Right, hired workers. Combine. Create job. Nearest waypoint. Oh, job. Nope, you're not working. Okay, fine. Let's head down there and see what's going on.
does not seem to want to do it one interesting tweak i'd love to see in the contracts is the ability to lease set machines i.e all of them or just the harvesters say you own a trailer already yeah i would quite like to see that MDT Grease Monkey, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. Right, let's head over to our harvester. I don't know what it's doing. Why it won't take the uh, job. Maybe it's full. It's possible it's full. Certainly seems to be in a position suggesting it is. Yeah, it is. What is it doing? I actually don't know where this is supposed to be. Right. Start it up. It is... Yeah, definitely in the wrong place. So we'll empty this out. We can then go and tip it. It's, it is full for some reason. Right, and... Right, so... That there. That there. Make it higher. And that way it's easier for us to unload into it. Like so. And then... So is it... Oh, it's going down that row. I can see where it's supposed to be going. Right. So we'll turn on the blue one, which is the indicator I like at the moment. Yeah, the... Hey, Dave from G Porter. Welcome along. How are you doing? I am, I am, I am the virtual farmer. No, don't you fold. You still got, no, uh, no, we're not empty yet. Come on. All right, the rest of that will not fit in that trailer. Cheers, T. Hey, T jerk modding. Oh, J Turk modding. I'm good, thank you, Dave. I'm doing very well, thank you. Right. Start this up. Put that down and go. Yeah, and that's working. For some reason, I don't have this on some of the other stuff that I've been doing, which is weird. But, uh, yeah. There we are. We'll leave that going and we need to go and tip what we got in the trailer because it's full again. And that means, yeah, that uh, we need to go and get rid of this. We are 46% of the way through this now, which is good. Uh, what was for Zappa for Zappa this evening was um, uh, uh, chicken uh, in a creamy leek sauce with a uh with cauliflower cheese and new potatoes oh man my brain is beginning to go whoops that's the wrong keyboard and why is that one not on the chat not on the chat there we go oh it's because i click the uh the bit off yeah it wasn't too bad threw it together in a few minutes 
Admittedly, it was a box that came from Waitrose. Oh, I missed I missed a uh, uh, hello fresh promotion by hours this time. I want to get back into doing my hello fresh things. Yeah, it gets to here and then it gets at a loss as to how it can get back and that's why it doesn't work. 41% transported, 47% of the contract now. This is because there's a lot in the harvester. And yeah, Harvester is on the way back. So we should be able to uh, get a nice full trailer off the Harvester. And this is this is basically the, the, the dance we have been dancing. Going in, grabbing stuff off the Harvester, driving back with this contract. And we are only on this half of the field. We've still got a whole another half of the field to go. But it's it is interesting that we are almost, you know, halfway through it. Thankfully, contracts don't end when uh, the crop is out of uh, harvest season. Because if it did, we would be failing this. There is no way we could complete this contract. What I'm more worried about is not getting work done on our fields because we're trying to complete this contract. That would be worse. Although, actually, planting everything in the spring wouldn't be bad and would give us winter to go through and get our fields ready. So it's not the end of the world. But it does mean that everything we're doing on our farm is then compacted. Which I'd prefer not to do. Wow, we actually have less potatoes off this run this time. And that's because we started halfway through the row, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll go tip this anyway, because that way we'll get back into the rhythm. Tatties. Right where I'm going to. It kind of depends on when the best price for potatoes is. If we're still harvesting these when the best price comes up, I'm quite happy to go and tip the remains of them in the um, uh, immediately and make a load of money off them. I mean, we can do that anyway. We don't really have anywhere to store tons and tons of potatoes. Just thinking about my setup. I don't want to go. I think, I think we want to go the wheat, turn that into canola. That'd be canola, canola. Uh, wheat, wheat. Linseed, linseed. That's not bad. That's not a bad way to go. Later, Milk Tiger J. Sorry we didn't get to sell the milk before uh, before you left. Create the spuds and show my crate stacking. No. Uh-uh. 
Not again. <laughs> I have to buy the crate. I'd have to put the crate mod in, and the crate mod is a pain in the butt. Anyway, I have a whole video about how to make insane money off potatoes in uh, in FS19. This trailer can just about hold a single tank of this. That's why I'm emptying out on this row each time. The whole way up. Because we get about 50% full of the trailer, which is almost the max width of this. And I just want to keep this harvester running all the time. there wow it really is less it is less than we've had on other ones amazing yeah that's the difference that this uh this slightly shorter bit of field is making we're only making it to about 46 percent every time we refill Thankfully, not my fuel line burning, and <laughs> not my uh, not my tractor either. As much as I like this Q series, There's a potato crater in the... Oh, it's... oh, yes, I know the one you mean. Yeah, I'm still not making potato crates. The crates are only about a thousand liters, maybe 2,000 liters. I mean, we've got 18,000 just in this one alone. It's just, yeah, it's going to be so many crates. I'd rather straight up sell them. Speaking of which. Nope. Oh, there's that. We were thinking of that, weren't we? Ah, uh, do you know what? Yeah. 
that's going to make things so much easier what's the requirement 106 yours power we can do that we can use this bkt tires i like the standard twos uh cassie color yeah design color I had completely forgotten this was in the shop. Ooh, I like that. Rim color yellow. Yeah. And we'll put this on the John Deere. So. Uh, number plate on the John Deere. Is BFO7 REX. Uh, so design color no not that one it was that one oh michelin tires nope i'm gonna go with the bkt standard twos that fenders the f o seven rex yeah i completely forgot about this and uh yeah this is this is something we wanted and um, because this holds twice as much as our current one does so uh let's buy that yes okay oh i'm glad i'm glad i went and looked at that very glad i went and looked at that because otherwise I'd have completely forgotten about it. Why can PC still not use a keyboard to select reg plate? Uh, you can. You can type in most of a registration plate on PC. Uh, numbers don't seem to work oddly. Uh, but everything else does. I type, um, I type uh, plates all the time. Yeah, the only the only odd one uh, odd thing is that uh, I can't get numbers to work. Need to reach this before it reaches the end of the row. You just get this doctor now. It's like eighteen months till you can walk normally. Oh, jeez, Fisher J. Oh, so the, yeah, no. I, okay, fair enough, Gordon. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> All right. Yep, forty four percent done. I think we should I, I think in future I will do six headlands on these because six headlands seems to be where it should be round it out Forty five per cent transported. Ah, 
that's good. That's I'm pleased that we we're, we're 50 we're over halfway through this contract now, which is great news. We've still got quite a way to go though. And they'll be happy when we're off this side of this field. Uh, and uh, and hitting the other side. It will be a G A at okay, or a new class Torion. Ooh. Do you need a wheel loader now? Would then be my question. Later, Martin. Thanks for joining us. Okay. We'll have to go down here. Yeah, the Volvo can use a bigger shovel. I found that out with my, um, to my detriment. When I tried to put the bigger shovel on the, uh, class. Get some of your muck shifted into the BGA. I'd, I'd probably go with the cheaper Volvo, to be honest. How many hours did you say it had on you? Uh, 33 hours. Yeah, that's nothing. I'd go with the Volvo. Save yourself 40,000. Get the bigger machine. slightly more that road but i think that's because it's do it was doing the cutting uh you tend to get slightly more from a cutting because it has the full width that it's uh that it's harvesting whereas the rest of the time it's not quite so much song currently playing is gold bars by harris heller Uh, everything I play is by Harris Heller and Stream Beats these days. Um, it is the only way I can absolutely know that I'm not going to get a copyright claim. It's really, really annoying. Not that I don't like Harris Heller's stuff, because I do. You know, Stream Beats is fantastic. And what he's done for the community in releasing his music in the way he has is amazing. Uh, but, um, yeah. I don't trust anything else at the moment and nothing else on Pretzel. Um, because I've had, I've had repeated copyright claims using YouTube safe music on Pretzel. Um, and I have had 
two copyright claims using YouTube saved music on Pretzel that when I've challenged them, the copyright owner has turned around and uh, and and um, uh, rejected my dispute. So uh, yeah, stream beats all the way for me these days. Only safe way to play music on YouTube and Twitch. And I, I, I said this to Reva the other night. I would not, if I was, if I was anybody streaming on Twitch, I would not be using any music I didn't have copy, uh, copy, right license or a license for. Hello, Roadrunner. Welcome along. Happy New Year to you. Um, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't use any music I didn't have a license to because I reckon at some point in the near future we're gonna start seeing live streams taken down because they're running copyright music on them. So many streamers now run copyright music on their streams and have it so that it doesn't appear in their VODs. But I think I think the music companies are, are not gonna take it lying down and they are gonna go and uh and they they will start claiming actual live streams because that's the next thing that's that's where all the money and everything is on twitch anyway you know vods are not well vods are not things that get a lot of views they aren't it's just you know that's the the reality of it on on twitch that's why i have an entire vod channel over on youtube Hey, Klein Farmer, welcome along. How are you doing, my uh, fellow uh, ambassador? And as I was saying on Twitter, actually, YouTube's done something I've been expecting them to do for years. They've... Uh They've, they've clamped down on um, violence and, um, and and swearing in videos. Are you just a moderator? I thought you. Were, why did I think you were a, a mod, uh, an ambassador, Klein Farmer? Are you? Are you only a moderator over? Only, only a moderator over on Giants. I thought you. I thought you were an ambassador. My bad. Get mixed up with everybody in that in that chat. Just <laughs> I know you have. <laughs> That's why I went just. <laughs> uh, it is very true. Uh Hey, Edwards, have you seen YouTube? It happens on YouTube all the time with false claims. None of these companies ever get taken to court or, or actually done because they have very deep pockets and streamers don't. Thank you, Steam fan. There's, there, yeah, no. It, what will happen is uh, the, the, the music companies will turn to Twitch. Yeah, no, there's, there's a whole load of, uh, yeah. YouTube live streams get pulled down for playing copyright material. That does happen. Um, and I've seen people complain to uh youtube um a team youtube about it happening with their stream uh, about the about false claims happening and pulling down their live streams oh yeah that does happen definitely does happen um and it's only a matter of time before it happens on twitch as well
Yeah, exactly. Completely uh, red swamp fox. I mean, as I said, I am very careful about what music I play on streams. I do not ever play anything I can't turn around and present a license for. Whether that's through Pretzel or or through something like Stream Beats, where, where if you go to the Stream Beats website, you can download a license that says, I have a license to play this music, um, which is fantastic. But if, if I don't, if I can't turn around and said, I have a license because of this, I won't play that piece of music. Um, and even in that instance, even having Pretzel's license behind me, I've had, um, I, I've had that. Oh, it's been that way for a half a decade to, de to a decade on YouTube. It has, absolutely. And nobody's interested in fixing it because, um, uh, because uh, nobody's got the money to challenge anybody. You can you can take somebody to court over it, but it's all about uh, it's all about YouTube protecting themselves. It's all about YouTube making sure they keep their safe harbor, so they will err on the side of somebody asks to take it down, it gets taken down. Then YouTube are never going to be arbitrators of that. Even in the stuff that I've had recently, YouTube do not arbitrate they've said go the next stage and 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 say you know you've got to take this down and then and then they have to and then the other the company has to then file legal stuff that says uh that, that gets a video removed Um, but yeah, it's, it gets used to take down competition, uh, to get uh, to remove um, uh, to remove criticism. Uh, it's one big thing that happens on YouTube all the time. Copyright claims and copyright strikes get used to uh, to, to take out competition and and criticism all the time. It is copy copyright in general. Overall, is a very broken system that has been dominated by very large corporate interests for a very long time. Okay, you're gonna spin right round, are you? Thank you. Let me spin right round then, please. I'm getting stuck on me. Thank you, Blay. Um, as well, again, it depends on the the copyright on the music. You know, it it really. I got so I got claims on stuff in gta the radio in gta only ever play the um if you play the radio at all in gta only ever play the talk stations um because the music stations will get you claimed easily very easily and very quickly that was a mistake i made a while ago thankfully not on my main channel um yeah, music games, I don't know where they stand. I, uh, You know, it all depends on what license there is and what it says in the license. But I, uh, yeah, as, a, as I said, I, I've got burnt enough times to go, right, I wouldn't play anything without a license. I don't have a license for it. I don't explicitly have a license for it. And even then, with the, with Pretzel, I am, you know, the the whole thing where I've had my uh, where I've had my appeal rejected, or my my um, 
Uh, my dispute rejected. I dare not uh, go to the next stage because it will result in my video being removed. Yes, they have to put in legal reasons and, and a proper legal document, but I don't have the money to go and fight somebody in the court for a single uh, VOD uh, that I have on YouTube. And that's how they, these companies get away with it. Hey, Aatrix, welcome along. You know, I, I will probably make a total of about three pound off that video. I, it's not worth me trying to go to court over that. And that's what they're counting on. That's that's what these false claims count on. Is that that you you're not willing to to pursue it like that? Hello, Nitro Frog. Welcome along. I'm willing to bet there's an awful lot of that going on on YouTube. Lots of companies just claiming little videos. You claim a video that's had got you know earned a pound there. You claim another video that's earned two pound there. Uh, and you you do that a load of times. You target small YouTubers particularly, and bam. Suddenly, you're making a lot of money off of other people's work. I always should put a call it a day. Man, no music, not even menu music in games. Uh, ran it all switched off. Turn off with you. Yeah, so I have all the music, all the menu music turned off in Farmson. Um, because that is not licensed. Um, hey, realistic hit, not today. Um, exclamation mark, join in on how you can join the multiplayer, which I do over on YouTube. Um, however, next multiplayer is not until the 4th of February, because I am going on holiday next weekend. So plenty of time to go and join the Discord, chat with other members of the VFN, and hit level 8. Tried to copyright claim the ambient sound in Flight Sim. Yeah, that one surprised me. Thank you, uh, Captain Eric. Uh, so, yeah, I am still going to have a whole load of videos out and everything and uh, try and do that. So, he has over 1 million subs. His music was custom written for me. It is an under management company. Yeah, it still gets claims on it with some frequency. Yeah. Absolutely. Want to do potatoes with someone? Ah, I am just working my way through this stupidly big contract. If we can get three quarters of the way through this contract today before we finish, that would be nice. But it is 10 to 11. And I am going to have to call it a night at some point in the not too distant future. The downside of starting at half eight is that I, I lose half an hour, but I just... I, I need to get my kids on time. Still not dreaming of spots. Why did I take this contract? In the middle of my harvest, I took a massive potato contract. What was I thinking? Uh, I think I was thinking this contract is worth somewhere in the region of about 50,000 pounds. That's what I was thinking. Uh, where are we? How much is this contract worth? 
uh this contract is oh wow no i take it back this contract is worth nearly a hundred thousand that's why we took it it's gonna buy us a field are the mini vfs behaving uh, about as well as they normally do Yeah, the house hasn't burnt down, so that that is definitely a win. I'm slightly worried how close this harvester is getting to needing a refill of fuel. I, re I reckon we'll have this contract knocked out by the end of October. I'm thinking at this point. Next time we, we have got to get slurry on our winter seeding fields. Because I have a feeling we've got to have those seeded by the end of October. Which is a big turnaround for them. Uh, right, six I want. Right, let's have a look at these schedules. Uh, okay, so the wheat we can plant till the end of November. The linseed we can plant to the end of November. So we have plenty of time to get our winter crop seeded. That's fantastic news. And that means I want to put canola in um, where uh, on the on the new field I'm looking to buy, really. And that gives us uh, four days to complete all of that work. Forty three percent. Oh, now where are you going? That's not going to work. <laughs> Already that's not working. Wow. Already that's getting stuck on that. It wanted to go round the other way, and that's really the only way I could get it to go round. So... But I saw that coming. Right, and start it up, put it down. We'll clear up that mess later. But that is not gonna behave itself trying to go around that pole. Go to run out of cow food before I run out of straw that adds a pickle to the cow move. Uh, I'd let it run out of food and then not worry about the straw. 
the straw is going to be a lot cheaper to replace than the food is. So I'd let the food... That's actually the better way round for me. Straw is cheap. P uh, cow food is not at all. Sixty percent done on contract. Never need to buy a few straw bales uh, a time. The amount of bales it takes to make TMR. Exactly. Yeah. Cheers, T. It's got an 11 o'clock. But it's not yet 5.30 in game. Biggest problem with this harvester is it's wider than its head. So it ends up being uh, a pain to get around things like these telegraph poles. Let's see what it does with the uh, pole this time. <clears throat> Okay, uh, hard worker off.
Love of season two part of Max Slowly spreading the giants have managed to grab a license with Bunning. Oh yes, that would be good. Yeah. More more British brands. Uh just Jasmine, just thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFN. Our team is going so well for me uh, at the moment. I'm looking at grapes. Still just need a nice field for them as the juice will make a huge sum and get raisins for cereals and bakery. Yeah. I, I'm loving Attingham. Attingham is a series that I am having so much fun with. And 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 it's actually making me make decisions which I'm going, do, can I make that decision? Do I want to make that decision? Um, I, as I said, Thursday's episode, um something comes up and it's just that is an absolute bargain that is an absolute steal but that is going to change everything about how my farm is if i do it and i just yeah i've got to check I've got, i'm gonna to have to record next weekend's uh videos in the next sort of 24 hours really and um yeah, I, it's very much going to be see how long is it, this is available for and go from there. I, don't, I, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do at this point because it is going to change my entire farm if I go for it. And I'm quite liking the nice classic board set up on there. Yeah, so so we um, so we were being told. Uh, Vauxhall. So we were being told earlier. Right, we'll get this emptied. Yeah, I'm going to empty the harvester this time. Uh, once the harvester is empty, we'll stop it. And um, go tip that load. Right, that should be... Well, we'll take it to the end of the row, actually. Because otherwise I'm going to throw everything out of whack. Although we should be alright actually. Uh, so that, 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 hard worker off. empty the rest out it won't be a full load but will be enough did i stop the no not the tractor right thank you so 63 percent of the way through not quite as far as i wanted to be but not bad and that will do. Would field one on Attingham next to the malt house yard be a nice vineyard spot? Not too big a field. Uh, field one, if you're using precision farming, I wouldn't make field one a... Um, uh, I wouldn't make field one a, a vineyard. I mean, you could, but it is, it is loam. And if you put any crop in there, it'll make a whole load of money. Uh, field one is one of my prize fields on Attingham. that done
I think I put all of my other tractors away, didn't I? Just the uh, just the Land Rover I left. So next time, uh, I definitely need to sell a load of eggs. I definitely need to uh, sell some milk. So we'll be doing both of that early on. Um, we then got to spread some slurry. Follow the Vultra. I drop this off back at the farm. Oh no, I didn't put them away. I left them on the field. Oh, the other thing I've got to do is bale. We need to bale all these fields as well. Oh, we still have quite a bit to do on our farm. And we've got this potato contract. Eleven is silty clay, so is ten. So they might work. Yeah, exactly. I think I think those are good choices. I don't think the grapes are affected by the soil. Oh, turn the lights off. Right, and then hire worker off, and home we go. Another day done on the farm. Oh, I left the barn door open. Oh, it matters much. Half our equipment is sitting out in the field. That's been a very productive day, I think. I think we've uh, we've got quite far with that uh, with that contract. We have got fairly, uh, we got all of our crops in, which is great. Uh, we have a new piece of equipment sitting, waiting for us up at the shops. So we need to switch that round next time. Um, and yeah, I think we're gonna be using the John Deere on the, uh, the slurry spreader going forwards because it's got a little bit more oomph. Uh, although I think that the, the New Holland probably could do it, but it's, uh, not as good or not as powerful it is good All right save game uh reduce time and then sleep through to 6 a.m and I think at this point, Dawn, yeah, is not at 6 a.m. anymore. So, uh, up on the roof. And we got to get to the sunrise. There it is. So, save at that point. And... What I need to do now is check what's in the shop. Oh, actually. What do we what are we using for a mulcher? Oh, we're using that for a mulcher, yeah, yeah, so I don't need to. No. So that isn't of any use. Uh none of those are of any use. So yeah. Nothing to worry about on the shop for next time. Ah, but that is where we are going to finish it for today so yeah still got a lot of potato contracts hanging around uh we've got to get about 20 percent done per day next time to clear that off by the end of october around doing the rest of our farm as well um we did manage to get about 20 percent of the contract done today so uh that's actually not bad we, we have a we have a good chance of getting that done before I head off on holiday next weekend. So uh, yeah, I want to get that potato contract done before then. That would be awesome. Um, 
video tomorrow is going to be on uh, Silver Run Forest. Uh, go check that out. That is already uploaded and there. So uh, that will all be ready. Um, so yeah, go check that out. I will be back streaming here on Twitch on Tuesday. So yeah, come and join me for that. Uh, we need to work out who to go and raid. Well, you can see you can see the brightness of my uh, of my Twitch. Uh, right, who have we got? Ah, Reva, Reva streaming. I take it he's not finishing. No, he's still streaming. So we are going to go raid Reva tonight. Go say hi to my brother. Go show him some uh, VFN love because he is awesome. Um, and he has a nicer studio than I do at the moment. Uh, so, yeah. All right. Um, a couple of thank yous to say. Um, huge thank you to uh, Strain UK for your raid. You are awesome. Uh, Fab Farm, thank you for your raid. Uh, sorry. The Fab Fam, thank you for your raid. Uh, you are awesome. Taz, thank you for your cheer. You are awesome. StuLad98, thank you for resubscribing. You are awesome. Martin ML Gainer, thank you for resubscribing. You are awesome. Uh, Catcracker6, thank you for your cheer. You are awesome. Uh, you show off, thank you for your cheers. You are awesome. Uh, Fisher J, thank you for your gifted subs and your cheers. Uh, you are awesome. Uh, Lenny213, thank you for uh, your gifted sub. You are awesome. Uh, Good guy 17 thank you for your cheer. You are awesome. Uh, Fisher J, thank you for resubscribing. You are awesome. Uh, Lewis031455, thank you for resubscribing. You are awesome. Uh, Good guy 17 thank you for subscribing. You are awesome. Uh, and Husker Lee, thank you for resubscribing. You are awesome. I will see you all on Tuesday uh, for another bit of the Realism Experiment. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this live stream, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>